Hello and welcome, this is S Tier Rank, and today I'm playing some more Inscription Casey's Mod. We're going to do uh, the three challenges of No Hook, No Clover, and Pricey Pelts, and see if we can have a little bit more luck than we did the previous stream. <laughs> I kind of threw away my really nice first run where I made a horrible misplay, and uh, we're going to see if we can do a little bit better this time. Fortunately, we're going straight for a Alt trade, so let's see what we can get. I'm wondering if I should go with the theme of something particular like aquatic or other. Um, I'm not even sure what category like the great white belongs in to. Let's see. None of these really stand out as super special. Um, so I'm curious if this if we combine it if it works with any other of the tentacle monsters or just the one um let's go with tinted is sated rat king because of the bone generation but it does cost two blood to get in the first place um we'll do it and how about the warren that'll get us some defense and generation all right, I don't know if it's worth boosting anything, um, but going to a woodcarver this early also seems like a weird idea, but we can at least check out bases for the sigil. Airborne, um, yeah, I really don't like that sigil, so we can either get a amphibious head or um, a bird head. How about we go with bird? Okay, that gets us into our first fight. Just fittingly, a nice totem fight. Okay, kingfisher and a bat. Okay, should be able to get rid of the bat. Um. Just a stoat. Well, this will do two damage though. So that's not ideal. We could park a stoat in front of the kingfisher. And uh, that'll be that for that turn. That'll be that. Alright. Well, they're gonna win if I don't do something drastic here. Kinda hate to do it, but I'm gonna have to do a uh, full quick and let's put down our rat king we'll sacrifice it if we need to later we're gonna need to make an item run anyways because having one less item puts us in a tricky situation anyways all right let's get our wolf on and complete this thing Here we go. Alright, we could get another wood carver in, get items, or keep going. I think that we'll go for the wood carver, why not? Okay, um, I believe that we got the bird head, and none of these are birds. So, hmm. Let's take the bullfrog. Maybe we'll get us a strong bullfrog duplicate thing going. Okay, waterborne. Um, or we could get hefty. Or we could get wolf head. I think we'll go for the head here because the sigils just don't seem that impressive. That'll give us some versatility as we build out our deck to swap things out. Alright, bullfrog. There we go. Now we have a rabbit, and that can contribute towards something else. We'll probably save up for the rat king. And the rat king would not survive the alpha attacking because it only has one HP. 
the bullfrog wouldn't be able to take it out either. Hmm, that's kind of lame. I mean, we could clear out the stomp though. Here we go. Well, not clear it, but come close to clearing it, I should say. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of our alpha problem, then I'll reduce the damage on the board by quite a bit. Okay. Let's see, Bullfrog is going to take out the stomp, and that'll be plus one damage overall. I'm not even sure I can survive this. Um, so if I play nothing, that'll be plus one. Stump will be on. I think we're just gonna have to risk it. Okay. Alright, Stoat. Stoat can, um, block one of these guys and then we'll break even with that bullfrog coming in handy. So let's just do it. Okay. Nice. All right, we could have another bullfrog. Let's have a bullfrog army here. Um, I do think I'll get the raven egg though, since we have a head in our wood carver for it. Oh, didn't even mean to click that. Whoops. Well, squirrel is pretty basic, but comes in handy all the time, so we'll roll with it. Worker ant and a ringworm. Hmm. Perhaps we should put raven egg against the ringworm. That would be pretty funny. And we'll go from there. Okay. And we can play like so, and we will get our bullfrog started against the bee. Alright, we can get rid of those ants or else they're gonna cause some problems for us, I believe. Yep. Too powerful now. We may lose this round. Um, I had to cut one of them, I think, to have a chance here, but let's see. So I could sacrifice the raven, but I just won't put enough damage on the board. I'm literally one away. Um, so I think I'm just going to have to throw this one because there's, uh, there's not enough here to pull us out of this. Okay. It's okay, we'll make it up with winning the boss fight. Uh, let's see. Rat King, a bat, and the ant queen. Well, we need something that takes bone, so let's do it. And we'll do the sigil, or the woodcarver path. Hopefully, get something we like. Unkillable. I think that sounds good enough to me. So let's do your unkillable wolf. I have a bit of a preference zone versus flying stuff. And we can reconfigure it here in a sec if we like. Okay, rabbit generator. Um, actually, that may be great. Um, how many do we have? You know, two flying, and I think just the one wolf. Hmm. That's a hard pick. I think I'll go with rabbit generator, though. And we'll do the birds. Maybe focus on bird builds for this particular run. It's always hard to tell if you're signing your death warrant with, um, some of these choices. 
And we have the angler. So that's always a hard fight. Not sure how this is going to pan out. And we have a kingfisher. Um, couldn't put the bullfrog down to uh, block its antics, so. Alright, he's going to pull it, so. Um, it's not ideal. I don't think he'll be able to. He's got two cards in the lane, though. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Oh, hey, wizard, how's it going? Okay, we'll put a warren down. And that will probably be it. Oh good, yeah, I'm doing fun today too. Just playing a little more Inscription and uh, enjoying the challenge of it all. It's been a challenging playthrough. I've already lost um, one of my candles. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get it back here in a moment. Here we go. And he's going to pull it, so I better sacrifice the squirrel. Instead, throw them off. Here we go. Okay. And what else can we do? Stoat and Bullfrog. I guess we'll get us a Bullfrog started. He may beat me because I'm kind of running out of resources quickly, unfortunately. Nope. Now he's targeting something on the board again. I'm just going to have to drop a squirrel. Good. Oh, uh, now we're going to have bait buckets. That's never good. Let's see what we have here. Alright, a raven egg. And it's a generator too, so we could get rid of one of these guys. Um, so let's do the rat king. And can we sacrifice anything else? Um, Bullfrog's gonna hit, and then we're gonna be in trouble, so we could put the stoat in front of it, but that's okay. We're just gonna have to deal with it. Oh, another bait bucket is heading our way, too. Okay, we may end up losing this. Um, I could cut that bait bucket, though, once it transforms, I think. We'll have a chance. Oh, here's a wolf. So let's cut this one, actually. And um, we will sacrifice what's needed to uh, keep the peace here. There we go. And that might be all we need to do for the moment. Okay, now we have a bat. Um, nothing to do with that. Cool. Winner, winner. Okay. So, we need to pick something that could have the um, sigil applied to it. So, I think I'll go with the Amalgam. Wouldn't mind trying to make, if I could get a second Amalgam, like a uh, Fungi Enhanced one. That'd be really cool. Okay. An adder, an elk, and a kingfisher. Hmm. Two twos and one one. I think I'll go with one of the twos. Um, I'm feeling like a pocket adder could be handy against some of the strong guys, but you know the next thing it comes after it's going to take it out. So maybe we'll go with an elk instead. All right. Should I do a sigil transfer on anybody? Um, 
taking the Warren's um, ability and putting on something sounds kind of nice. Or we do have a cave event. We have duplicates of frogs and that's it. So doing the fungus right now doesn't seem very useful. I mean, we might get something from that card. Um, there's a duplicator and a cave here, which makes me somewhat tempted to go that route versus getting items. So let's see, who would we transfer the sigil from? Perhaps, um, perhaps the Warren and putting it on something else with some attack power may be a good idea. So let's just do something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll put it on another one cost, like the state. Okay. And continuing on. Not a spectacular um, sigil swap, but you know, we'll take it. Alright, wild bull, it's going to be throwing things around and some rabbits. So, I think that saving up is a possibility here. Um, or getting a raven egg down somewhere strategic might be a good idea too. So, let's see. That'll generate something, so we could actually get three lanes going at once, I believe. At least two lanes. Um, this is going to get us a rabbit, and... And we can get another one using the stoat, and then we can put down the bullfrog for fun, so we'll just attack them all at once. I don't know, the last time I did something like that in my first turn, so that was interesting. Okay, um, and we'll just go with that. Now that wild bull is going to be a problem, you know, it's just going to keep hitting stuff, but that's okay. Maybe we can take it on. There we go. I really didn't think I would clear it that quickly. That first move was uh, pretty handy. Getting three things on the board at once, that kind of overwhelmed them, I think. Alright, three sigils, two of Kian, and five bone. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sigils. So we have one two cards without one, so I think our chances are pretty good that we would get three sigils. Um, two of a can, less so, and I don't think that we're going to hit five bone, because we only have one, so that's literally impossible. So let's go with this three sigils. Maybe we'll get lucky. Ah, yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, a bat that kills and does rampaging. Um, a bloodhound that gets stronger and generates rabbits. That sounds pretty tempting, actually. Um, and a rampaging skink that's waterborne. We're gonna go with the bloodhound. That seems like the ideal choice. Okay, time to create a uh, painting of something thinking the amalgam so that we can have a chance to uh, double it up for the fungi event. Ah, oh, three and one. Darn it. That's not very much stronger. At least we'll get the power though, I guess. Okay, the cuckoo's gonna come and get in our way soon. But the raven egg is our bigger threat, so I think we'll play out a bullfrog. Um, actually, we'll play the stoat so we can get a second card on it at the same time. And we'll go ahead and play our bullfrog, and that'll be that. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and play another bullfrog. We'll just keep them coming. Okay, an amalgam, great. So it only has one hit point though, so it's pretty weak. Um, 
Let's just wait till the next turn. Okay. And I mean, we could sacrifice now and get rid of the raven egg. Um, perhaps that makes the most sense. There we go. And that leaves us with a rabbit, so let's block off the porcupine. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I uh, definitely am typically a fairly calm person, I might say. It's nice to um, relax after a long day and, you know, just play games and stay calm. <laughs> All right, we can get another amalgam on the board as well. We'll do that and we'll get a rabbit for our efforts. I think that the next turn we're gonna win. All right, there we go. And new card time, let's see. Could get an elk as a, another potential duplicate, um, or a turkey vulture, since we um, are generating a lot of bones, or a wolf cub. It's always a tempting one. Maybe um, turkey vulture is just a whole lot of resources though, just to get three and three. So I think I'll go for an elk in case I get to do two duplication events. I've got um, just one item, so tempted to say it's best that we go ahead and start heading towards items, but I need to hit up this one guy event, so let me just go that way. I've only got one fight in between here and there. Um, so we could put rabbit generating on bugs, but I don't think we have any currently, do we? Yeah, it looks like we don't. Um, or we could put it on pronghorns. How many we have? Two of those, and amalgam would count as a third. I guess amalgam counts as insect too, and then fourth, of course. Um, the higher blood cost would be tricky. Hmm. Maybe I will stick with birds on on the set here. It's birds. There we go. Okay. Having the rabbit generation feels kind of like having a squirrel bottle with you at all times, you know? Okay, um, let's see. Got our bloodhound, and uh, we're so close to being able to play that. What do we have coming in? A raven? Um, Could to use a bullfrog to block it? And then buy us a little bit of time. Um, however, if we could wait one more turn, we might be able to get the amalgam on the board. So let's wait and see. Okay. And get this number going. And now it's time for an amalgam attack. Here we go. And. Um, could even go ahead and put down the bullfrog too, just to get the points on the board. And, um, the bloodhound will get in another turn or two. Okay, good. Alright, let's see. Perhaps we should sacrifice our bullfrog for the bloodhound since it's going to get stronger. And we'll put it in front of our raven egg too. Oh, and now a rabbit that grows stronger. We're going to try that out. That's interesting. I didn't know it would pass on like that. <laughs> the older rabbit. <laughs> Was a lot of power all at once. Okay, pick a card. Thinking a bone consumer might be a good idea. 
excuse me, alpha, and let's go to the fungus event. All right, we could get a really strong amalgam. Um, well, it should be six and four, I think, or we could have four and eight. Um, I think it, it's kind of the no-brainer here, so let's do it. Elk is a close second, though. Okay, fire. Okay, who could use some health? Um, Raven Egg starts out low. Right King is kind of low, too. Um, having the stoat has some more viability would be cool. Or even the bat. I think that having the alpha boosted makes a lot of sense though. So I'm just going to stop at 4 and uh, having that amount might keep it on the board, keeping the other teammates strong for longer. So we'll see if that pans out. Okay. Trapper time. I always have a hard time with this guy in particular for some reason. This is tough. Um, we'll have a smoke get attacked by one of the frogs and um, I wonder if it would be worth trying to deactivate the frogs or just going after the leaping trap right away and uh, letting them do some damage on me otherwise. I don't have any squirrel generators, so let's do um, an attack on the leaping trap so we have that lane cleared out. Um, and we'll put down smoke so that we have some blocking. And that may need to be it. We'll go ahead and pull two because we just want to get something on the board. All right, bye bye, frog. Okay, um, let's see if I pull something from here. I'll have a pelt that I could play as a blocker, but nothing else really. Um, I can get an alpha going though, and that could give Squirrel attack power and the Wolf Pelt attack power as well. So why not do something like that? There we go. And we'll see what happens. keep it rolling I think okay um, the alpha is in imminent danger of dying the leaping trap is um, not going anywhere so it could take out both lanes of it but then I want to have a squirrel um, it's going to suddenly be useless. I could sacrifice it um, for the elk, or I could get the elk on the board right now um, instead. Let me see about that. I think that may be my best play. Get a really powerful elk and um, go from there. Is gonna land in the wrong lane with the adder. Darn it. That was a bad, bad move. Bad, bad, bad. Um, let's put a wolf pelt in front of the strange frog. Okay, how close are we on damage? That's not gonna let me view it. I guess we're gonna have to play our uh, rat king on the adder, perhaps. Alright, I 
bullfrog. Okay, let's get a another we'll get the bullfrog down over here, I suppose, so we can start taking on this one. a generator. Um, I don't think it'll make sense to play it right now because we're about to get that bullfrog off the map anyways. So we're going to do more damage. I think it's time to start collecting cards while these guys can get us caught up. Okay. Um, we could play the wolf in a strong lane after the card draw. up my other pelts so that's kind of a dangerous situation um, the bloodhound looks like it may be our biggest threat overall because it has a um, good amount of energy and also the porcupine ability the raven I'm not too afraid of but I don't know this guy does have bi-directional attack and only costs one blood maybe he would be better to have um, I wish I could see my card layout right now but I can't um, let's do ringworm doesn't sound like a good idea neither does the worker ant um, let's I guess let's go with this guy okay it's not perfect but it's something right so rat king is gonna lose out to this dude when he comes down but it'll leave a little damage bullfrog is gonna die out and then there's gonna be a rattler coming down um, I'm almost tempted to say sacrifice something so we can get a wolf in that lane instead and take them out um, and then the mole is going to probably hang out where it's at for a, a little bit so let's see what can we do we could play get the stoat started on a lane um, we can get it there. We're going to get another rabbit back. Now we can play our wolf somewhere. Um, perhaps it taking out the uh, raven and mole combo makes more sense than worrying about the rattler. That's a hard pick. It's a really hard pick. If I can have that bifurcated strike though, it makes more sense I think, to get rid of that lane. So let's just uh let's try that maybe. Let me read I wish I could read the mirror though. I can't quite tell what that's gonna do. It may give me no power. And then I'm just stuck in front of the ringworm <laughs> doing nothing. Um Well, let's just try it. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Um, at least it'll keep that lane occupied while the others are doing other things. So let's uh, take the turn, I suppose. All right, the Raven's coming in now, and we need to obliterate it because I think we'll have a problem otherwise. So let's see, getting rid of the Rat King will. Um, open up that lane for some attacks. I could put a wolf down or I could put something down to go after our raven. So let's see what we get here. Ah, bloodhound. It's going to generate something so maybe I should just go for that instead because it does have higher defense as well. Um, and it'll get stronger on its next turn. So how about we do this and we will put this guy down and now we have enough to generate our wolf. Um, we could just let this lane go away because ringworm's not going to move anyways, it's not a threat. 
Um, so let's get our wolf started over here. And I think that might be okay. Can get a rabbit that grows stronger and it'll contribute in its next turn. So this will be a lot of overwhelming attacking at once. Hopefully it pans out. Nope, we already lost our wolf. Now we have an elder rabbit on the case. Alright, an elk. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to recover because they're going to do 4 damage and our bloodhound is going to stay um, where it's at. Fortunately, it's going to take out the raven, but it won't put any damage on the board. Um, now if I could swap out the elk. Let's see. If it would attack here and then block that, that would be good. But once again, I think the chips are against me, so um, we'll just ring the bell and see what happens. But I think that that's going to be it. Ah, darn. That was only my second boss too, so that was a little bit of a rough run. I think that I had uh, some kind of bad luck on the cards I was drawing overall more than anything else. But that was a short one, so let me just give it one more try since that one only lasted about half an hour. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that was a tough one. I just felt like I, I got a rough run of things. Um, the angler and the uh, trapper always have a lot more difficulty than the prospector. I feel the prospector is the easiest of the three. Okay, um, I might go for a canine oriented run again. Seem to do decently with those, so let's just keep keep them in mind. Okay, I don't think a sigil sacrifice makes a lot of sense, um, or sigil swap. There's one at the end of this, and I've already got two items, so that seems like a bit of a waste. Maybe I'll go this way since there is a prospector um, card opportunity up there. And we'll take the wolf cubs getting stronger ability and we'll put it on the coyote so that maybe the coyote will be viable after a turn with a little bit more HP, you know. Alright. First fight, mole and raven egg. I think we know what to do with that. Okay. And a bullfrog. Nice. here without using our squirrel card to be able to make a recovery so we're gonna have to do this um, the mole will be defeated bullfrog will do plus one and I think it will there we go we'll come out now we can put our Cody down perfect that was a decent recovery Alright, left, right, or middle? I'm gonna go with, I guess, the right. Ah, oh, worker ant. That'd be nice for getting uh, some uh, items. Maybe this will turn out to be a uh, insect run after all. <laughs> Alright, plus one power. Who needs the power? Interesting, it doesn't give me the hand as a choice. Um, how about. I'm tempted to say the wolf or the coyote, but I really like the stoke card because it's only one blood, so let's just try maxing it out even though we might lose it. Ah, oh, we lost it. <laughs> Alright. That's what you get for getting greedy, I suppose. Elk fawn and mole. 
We definitely need to get rid of that elk pawn, so um, it's going to come down, do its attack, and scoot over, so we need to put it in the lane over one. That way it won't grow up to be a big one. Yeah, yeah, that was tough seeing our uh, stoic get lost. Always have a soft spot for keeping that card. <laughs> Now we should be able to get our wolf down. I think everything's going to improve after that. Let's see, we don't have quite enough to play the coyote, but we're getting there. I don't think we'll have enough time. We're going to win this thing already. There we go. We'll get a whole bunch of excess damage, so that'll be nice. Perfect. Maybe we'll be able to buy something from uh, the vendor. All right, let's see. I guess we'll go this route and um, can decide if I want to get insects or dogs, so let's see what we have. Or we could get a bear. Why not? Okay. Um, somebody give health to you. Tempted to say let's put it on our coyote since it's just not very viable. Or we could have a really resilient worker ant um, that lasts for a while. That'd be interesting. So let's do our hmm. so hard to choose I want to say the worker ant and we'll go ahead and try again there we go sometimes it pays to be greedy now I feel balanced out for losing that other one now I have a super ant nice okay um, the ant could actually withstand the raven egg that's pretty hilarious, so I think we're going to do it um, and continue on. Okay, we can send this bullfrog out against the mole. Grizzly. Nice. Alright, we will uh, happily take out the worker ant and replace it with the grizzly so we get all that sweet excess damage. Vulture, Grizzly, and a worker ant. Um, I think I'll go with the ant. I think this is starting to shape up to be a um, insect run, so let's see what um, woodcarver piece we get here. Fecundity, um, copy of its creator in your hand. Now that'd be great with the ants. So maybe we will get an ant farm going here after all. Right? Oh, perfect. Okay, this is it. I'm feeling the, the magic here. We're gonna um, beat it this run. 100%, no mistakes. <laughs> Glitchless. <laughs> All right, Trapper, I'm ready for you. Alright, what can we do? What can we do? Co 
Cody that gets stronger wasn't really going to matter if we lose it right away, so maybe we can, um, well, we could get rid of the, um, trap on the far right and then play, um, the coyote in that lane. That would be really nice. So let's put down the smoke to get started and we will do that coyote in that far lane just as soon as we get rid of that trap. Um, we will tip the scale a little bit just to have some uh, margin for error and I believe this is really all we can do. We can sacrifice two of those but it just doesn't make sense with the deadly traps which are just so terrible. Okay. And um, now we should be able to get our Cody on the board and it can take out the bullfrog right away. Um, and I want to save the pelt because we have enough room to take the hit and I think I'll save the squirrel as well. Okay, good. confident about this situation. Oh, now we have a grizzly that we're going to deploy soon. We're just uh, a turn away from being able to make a grizzly without having to sacrifice too much. Okay, I think we'll be able to trade two of them off, so I'm not too worried about this. I'm feeling pretty confident. Okay. Now, let's see which ones make the most sense. These are all pretty weak because it's a easy first boss. Um, perhaps, well, leaving the moles there, the wolf will take um, three turns to get rid of them, assuming that they don't move. Um, the possum, maybe the raven egg that has that, and the wolf cub. That sounds good enough, good enough to me. So, what can we get going here? Grizzly could just about start, but the Elder Coyote is going to be covering for us. So, I think that I like how things are. We'll just, um, well, we could get the Raven Egg down. We'll do that. Okay. And Wolf Cub wouldn't survive this gink, so we'll just hold it like this, this for now. Okay. And draw another one. Okay, I think that we've won this one. No way out of it. Um, let's see. This will just draw another squirrel. Okay. Nice. Strange larva, long elk, and pack rat. I think we'll go with the larva. Need that power. Need that attack power bad. I think it might count as a bug too, so having fecundity would be pretty nice. Okay. Um, let's go with... Hmm. I guess the river otter, so we have the one blood in our hand. Let's see. I think I have fecundity on the bugs. I kind of hate to go get an item when I only have room for one. Um, let's see the wood carver just in case. Bifurcated strike on the bugs. That's the only thing I can think that could be better. 
Um, we'll take that sigil for sure. Um, wow. Wish I could play both of those. So that would double the power of the ants, but also be a liability like on the um, angler fight, you know, there's a little bit of a liability there. So I'm tempted to say, let's get the duplicate. I'll keep that for now. But I'll think about it. If we run into the woodcarver again and I get a different head, maybe I'll change it out to that. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see, the bullfrog. Our larva can definitely um, survive against it, or it could stay in this stump lane and live there as well. So let's just do it right there. Alright, we have some adders coming in. And we have another strange larva we could play. And I'll block the other guy for a couple of turns. Um, let's just go ahead and do it. We don't have enough room to run the coyote yet. Okay, Mothman is amongst us. So, do we have enough to survive here? I could get the bones and play against um, this adder, and I think we would then be safe. Um, Coyote would actually take out this lane in one hit. Thank you, Wiz. I'm uh, definitely trying to stay practice. It's been so fun getting better at this game, you know. There we go. That was a good turn. Alright, I think getting items makes a little bit more sense now, because I have room for two of them. And um, I could go this route and have a stronger chance at getting an insect. Should I do any sigil swaps? I'm thinking no. Yeah, I don't really think it's worth it for now. So maybe I'll go for the mystery cards and the items instead. Okay, Mantis does it because we have fecundity, so I hope I'm saying that word correctly. I'm not sure if I am. Um, we'll do the goat and we'll do scissor. That'll come in handy against the angler boss. Gotta have a scissor for those bait pockets, they're so frustrating. Okay, um, Mantis. Take out the coyote and one of the kingfishers, like right away, so I think that makes perfect sense. And we'll get another one in our hand, too. Alright, um, another mantis we could get on the board. This will be kind of funny. So now we have four damage going across. There we go. Okay, um, I guess we'll draw one of these. There we go. And just let this one play out. Not quite enough to win, and unfortunately the river otter is going to be a little bit tough, but that's alright. We've got an ant that we can use here in just a moment, and it's going to create a copy of itself as well. Okay. Let's get another ant on the board. We should be able to take out the coyote with it. <laughs> Alright, we're starting to see the insect army. <laughs> They're just staying just a tiny bit ahead of me, unfortunately. Um, play the river otter over here. To at least keep the damage coming in. There we go. Alright, excellent. So, 
Let's see. Do we want to buff anybody up? Probably do versus anything else. I think getting the Mantis on there makes a lot of sense. Um, so we want Mystery Pack or do we want like Blood? Probably need another Bone creature. So let's head this way. Ah, a bat. Oh well. Alright, adding attack power. Who may we want for that? Strange Larva is a nice candidate, or having the Mantis as well. I think I'll go with Larva so that it has a chance to survive. Um, we'll just back out of that from there. That way it can fend itself off a little bit if somebody comes in trying to attack it. It'll at least not be defenseless. Okay, um, we're going to have Worker Ants come in and immediately put two damage on the board, so we need to um, stop that. So, how can we do this? Worker Ant would just get obliterated right away, unfortunately. Um, I think we're just going to have to play it in the open lane, and um, I could get the bat going right after that hmm. that's kind of a tricky situation but maybe that makes the most sense okay that gives us some protection against them and I'll get another worker ant on the board so that we can take out um, one of these guys fortunately we've got a Mantis that will be coming in. So I think it makes the most sense to take out. Well, this guy's going to take them out anyways. Oh man, so many angles to attack here. Um, could let the bat go in exchange for lapping out this lane or that lane. Um, and I'm going to put us down to just two ants again instead of three. It's about to happen. This ant is going to lose anyways. So maybe that would make the most sense. There we go. All right. Now let's see. Oh man, they're just getting so much power. I may end up having to miss or lose this round because they're um, kind of beating me by raw insect power here, even though I was trying to play the insect game here. <laughs> I think they're going to win. Um, the coyote could take out one of these guys and bring the overall power down, but they've already got so many in my teeth, I don't think I could win unless I spend some stuff. That's not good. Um, now, yeah, yeah, there's no real coming out of this one, I think. I think we're just gonna have to lose. Wow. That was a tough one. I feel like they uh, really stacked the cards against me on that one. Alright, Moose Buck, Kingfisher, and River Snapper. I don't think I have a 3 blood. No, I do have the Grizzly. So I'm tempted to add that. However, um, Grizzly is pretty nice already. Maybe I should add the 2 blood. I think I'll go with that. That'll give me something with a little bit of oomph. Alright, I could copy something and then go to the Fungus. Um, what would I do that with? Hmm. I mean, I could double up a Mantis' strength, but that's not super impressive. Um, I could get a Strange Larva and have two of those running amok, or combine them into one. And it would be very powerful continuing on. Um, let's see, I have a Black Goat, I think a pair of scissors, so going to items doesn't seem very wise. I don't think it's worth getting a bone token to sacrifice a card right now. 
Um, so I guess we'll do the duplicate route. Question is, who do I want? Um, possibly duplicating the grizzly so that I can get an eight and twelve power creature makes the most sense, and that does cost three blood. However, so it'd be hard to get on the board. But if I did have it on the board, it'd be really hard to stop and um, a tank, you know. A uh, coyote, if I doubled it up and it got stronger, what would it be? It'd be four bones, and it would, um, if it got the stats across the board, four and two, um, and then after a turn, get a three, or five and three. So that's enticing. Um, the mantis, the two and two mantis, mm, I don't know. I think I want to go big or go home. We'll do the grizzly. Okay, it's four and four, so not as strong as I'd hoped, but we'll go with it. Okay, um, Grizzly, it's you. Eight and ten. Got it. Two and two manas will be practically four and two manas. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I should have considered it that way. That would have actually made more sense on the attack power. I should have thought about it that way. You're totally right. So many rules. Gotta gotta remember them all and apply them properly. <laughs> Alright. Could play the worker ant and get us a uh, item run away. Cause I know I'll probably cut one of these dudes. Um, and then fecundity will be helpful, so let's just go ahead and get that on the board. And um, yeah. Okay, and he's uh, going to start pulling cards, so let's see. I could get this guy down, but. I kind of hate to, hate to play anything other than a squirrel, really. Um, so I'll put a squirrel here and he'll pull it and block his kingfisher. Alright, nice. So let's play, um, let's see. I think that we want to play this worker ant, since we don't need another item right now. Okay. All right, we will let him pull another squirrel over, and that will leave. Hopefully, he'll just use two bait buckets, and that's it. Now oh, he's gonna put down three because of the squirrel. Darn it. Um. How can we address this situation? Getting another worker ant on the far end to do some damage seems like a good idea. Um, we can definitely cut one of them too. And let's see. River Snapper would only take two hits from those bait buckets, so let's cut this one. And I should have done the other one since it would have survived <laughs> the first attack. Um, oh well, I got excited. And I think it we're still going to be okay because as long as we don't put something in that bait bucket lane, we'll be alright. And we'll sacrifice so that we get more attack power on the board. And that will actually win it, I think. Here we go. Wow. Scissors really helped. I think that may have been one of the e easiest angler fights that I've uh, ever had, so that was great. Alright, the Gek. Um, Yuri Yuli and a Mole Man. I think that maybe. I think 
Gak makes the most sense for us. It gives us something that doesn't cost anything, and uh, we can just toss it out there when we need it. Okay, a uh, cave challenge. Let's check it out. All right, two of kin, three sigils, and four blood. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sigils. Um, and two of kin. Let's see, we got two guys there. We got three. We may have a decent chance at getting that actually. Um. And four blood. That might be a little bit tricky. I think we'll do two of kin. Oh. Ah, uh, no. Darn. Okay. Should I do a sigil swap on anything? Um, taking the mantis's power and putting it on something like the wolf could make a lot of sense, but I'd miss out on a duplicate, duplicate step. Um, <laughs> duplicating this like high powered grizzly would be kind of hilarious. So I'm tempted to do that just to see for the lulls. Um, I think I will do it. <laughs> kind of crazy today, but we'll try it. one we have a mole and a pronghorn and the pronghorn is going to move after its first one so maybe putting something here that attacks diagonally to prevent it from getting hit and the mantis would fit that but the pronghorn would move and get it on its next turn unfortunately um, so we could put the worker ant over here who would survive and take it out um, since it's boosted it'll put some damage on it at least and um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's just continue from there. Oh, got an elk fawn coming in now. Could get that damage there. However, I think having the mantis over here on the side so that we can get some damage on the um oh well I could use an item too let's see don't have anything that uses bones so um just trying to think maybe I should put the mantis here in the middle but the mole's going to move over and we're going to get an elk and that's not good so I think that we'll put on hmm We'll put him right here so that he'll attack the mole. And we'll go on. Oh, there's that tail. Okay, I should have been paying attention to the tails. Alright, that's okay. Um, it's holding back a whole bunch of elk fawns from coming in. Um, if I can play this worker ant, it'll be able to take out this other guy pretty quickly, or I could put um, the wolf down and in two turns get that lane cleared. Um, hmm. Let's see. I think it, doing this will make sense. Ah, I should have used an item. Um, yeah, I still could. I would get plus five if I use the fan, or I could do damage on those, but that pronghorn's gonna come in and be a problem. So that's a hard one. Um, I guess we will keep going. Got 
Thankfully, my worker ants are so strong now. Okay, I think I can put down this mantis. That's going to get us a lot of damage on the board. Okay. Uh, let's see. Perhaps we do need to get out the black goat so that we can get rid of that elk fawn and do some damage beyond it with our wolf. Here we go. Man, those tails are really helping them out. Ah, the red snapper. Okay. Fortunately, we're going to lose our wolf. Um, that's okay. It'll do a good amount of damage on the elk. Oh, yeah. Forgot about the mantis attack attacking diagonally, so that was great. All right. Should we put the larva down? It's not going to matter. Um, we could put it here just for fun, Zizo. All right. Hopefully we'll get to the trapper soon because I need to exchange my teeth for stuff, but I don't think I've seen it this entire run, strangely. Hmm. Bloodhound, magpie, or a kingfisher. Two twos and one one. Hmm. I guess let's go with Having the magpie search, though, is pretty nice. But it is airborne. I'm not a huge fan of airborne and waterborne cards, so I guess we'll just do this. Okay. Let's uh, duplicate something um, and we'll combine it up. So. Could duplicate one of these strong worker ants um, instead of going for the meme grizzly since we already have a strong grizzly. Hmm. That's hard. I think I'll do it though because. If we can get the mean grizzly down, like it's going to be so strong anyways, that we can instead have a pair of strong working at, uh, worker ants and maybe combine up something else here in a minute. Okay, good. Um, so we could send out against, I guess, the, the raven makes the most sense since it has more HP. Um, and the Gek, you get the Coyote in the next turn for free. Um, the Mantis can chip away at things too. So let's do this right here. And we can put the Gek over here for fun and we'll put the Mantis or the Worker Ant in front of this other guy here in just a moment. Okay, um, we'll play the worker ant. Oh, we need to get this possum out first. Um, so let's do this so that maybe it'll get thawed out. Oh, I should have played my other card a minute ago. Here we go. That cost me a little bit. Um, let's see. thinking this might be fine for now. Okay. Well, actually, let's see. If you're going to get... This will be eliminated. This will stay there. Um, that guy's going to get hit, and that guy's going to get hit. I think we're okay. Okay. And 
Let's see, we'll draw this one. And it's one of my strong work grants, so um, I could put it out could put it out by sacrificing can you do the possum? No you can't. I think I wanna have to use one of these guys and put it down. There we go. And that'll take out that lane. Um we'll get two damage, which we can take. No damage there. And that lane will be eliminated too. Um Actually, we won't take damage in that lane because the worker ant's going to get rid of it. I think that we might be okay. There we go. Possum. And the possum could get replaced. Um, let's see. Kind of like to use it so that we could get... Um, another item, but using any of these doesn't seem to make sense. Um, maybe we'll do this though. And I'll just play it like this. There we go. I think a boulder is a decent trade. It's not, not the best, not the worst. Okay. Um, what are we going to duplicate? A or join, I should say. Um, I wonder if it's even worth doing. I hate to, to uh, pass up a fire that's sitting there, but we could draw something, have a chance here. Could do a one blood and have a decent shot at a few of these things. Um, hmm. There is a cave challenge up that way. Do I even have any duplicates to do at the moment? I mean, we have worker ants that we can make stronger. Which I guess would make sense because if we had two sixes and we have fecundity, I mean, that's effectively like having four of them in our hand once they're played. Um, so let's see what card we draw over here. I think that'll avoid getting a bone one. Um, and going for either a two or a three seems to make a lot of sense. Let's just do a two. All right, field mice. Okay, not stellar, but that's okay. I think the only thing I'll have here are ants, so here we go. Ah, six and a four. It looks like it won't give me the option to do the other one. Um, that's not ideal. I uh, guess we have to do it though. At least we'll have an ant that can take a whole lot of damage. Alright, there's a f cave event and we can get to the fire. I don't think we need to go to the wood carver. Um, and we don't need items that bad, but we can try using up one or two in this fight so that we're flying high. Okay. Um, we can take a lot of abuse from that pronghorn, like 10 turns worth, so I think it will get a worker ant over there. And we can go ahead and use one of these to start the coyote in on something. And there we go. All right. Now the Cody is strong enough to withstand some attack from that pronghorn. So let's see about getting the other ant on the board. And um, that may help us out. And we get more boulders. Okay. All right. Um, looking good. Looking good. Let's see. I don't think we want to get rid of anything. Good. I think that we've got this one in the bag. Good. I think we'll get a pack rat since we're going to be full. And let's do our cave challenge. 
Six health, um, bone, or five bone costs, and two of a kind. Um, I think we have a good, ch good chance with the six health, so let's just do it. We've got a couple cards that meet that on their own. Yep, there we go. Wow. <laughs> I'm taking a screenshot of that. That's hilarious. <laughs> we definitely aced that one. 26 health. Oh, look at this. A black goat with uh, loose tail and unkillable. A wolf that's a dam builder with touch of death. And a magpie that is stinky and unkillable. Um, well, combining that wolf with another one sounds like a winner to me, so maybe we will go the duplicate route again. Alright, thank you, Pack Rat. Alright. Um, well, here we go. Strong wolf time. Six and four. Yeah, I know I've got a ton of teeth. I haven't had, I think, a single opportunity to go to um, the fur trader do the like he's he's nowhere to be seen i don't know why all right strange larva time i could just block the wolf um with the boulder and uh get the strange larva started in on the pack mule and i think that this is going to be game over pretty quickly Okay, um, and we have another strange larva that we'll save for the second phase. There we go, and um, we'll put down some stuff to block their attacks for now. I think that would be the best idea. Um, now the bat could take out that wolf in one go. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of what else could I do, though. Might have to just play the smoke, and, um, what about this wolf? It's going to come in and cause some pain, so strange larvae can't survive that, unfortunately. Um, so we may just need to block it, because the Mothman is going to get us to phase two in two hits. Or one hit. I should have done the math there. I keep forgetting that Mothman is airborne, and that definitely uh, causes me some grief. That's okay. I think I have enough firepower to uh, win this round pretty handily. All right, so let's get a bat to take out this wolf and um, we could do a boulder, but I think that we need to get the wolf into play so that it can eliminate this row. Um, so let's do that first. All right, and it built the dam too, um, so I think it we're safe. And of course, the bat's airborne. I swear, I don't know how many times I'm gonna think about that. All right, we'll should clear out that row, and these two have enough power to kind of mess with me, so I need to get something going. Um, let's see. Elder Bloodhound, it's just not not good. Um, so they're going to put six damage on me at once, but I've already got a lot against them, so let's play our boulder and we'll block out the wolf because it's not going to move 
However, the Bloodhound could, so we'll just block it for the moment. Okay, excellent. This will do it. Okay, um, Rattler could take out a good chunk of health on that guy over there. I think it will do it just for fun, even though we're going to lose it. <laughs> all right, look at all the teeth. <laughs> I'm overflowing. <laughs> I really hope I get to spend long because it stinks that I haven't had a chance to yet. I'll be able to get at least a few pelts. Um, all right, Mantis God. If we could get that upgraded, that would be beautiful. Um, and we do have fecundity, so I think that's a no-brainer. I have to do it. All right. Well, I never got to see uh, the traitor, so that is so weird. I've I don't think I've ever had so many teeth in a round. Um, so what might we want to do? I think that items might be the best choice. Let me see what I have. I only have bones. I don't think that doing a sigil transfer makes a whole lot of sense. Now, taking the mantis gods and putting it on um, something else could be very powerful, like, say, on one of the ants as they get stronger. That would be pretty wicked. Um, but having items is kind of important to you. I guess I'm going to go items. Um, skipping a turn, that seems great. And cutting a card sounds great. All right. Deep breath. Uh, all right, here we go. It's just starting the storm where I'm at too, so hopefully we don't lose power. And I made it this far, that would be really tough if I lost power. All right, a mole man and a mantis god. Um, what can we take out here? I think having a Gek on board would be nice, but it's going to die. Um, same thing with the River Otter. So, and we could put it out there, but we're going to get three damage, or else we could stay here. Um, only get two damage, plus get something against the Mole Man. Um, play our River Otter, or we could save up to. Alright, we'll do this so that Mantis God takes something out and we can put our Gek in the middle, um, which the Mole Man will move to block, I believe, I believe, and keep the Mantis God from coming out. So as long as we just stay with something like that, we may be okay. There we go. All right, now he's got a Mantis coming. Thanks, Wizard. Um, hopefully, do win. This is looking like a challenging one, so fingers crossed. Okay, a grizzly. Um, that is pretty sweet. So, fortunately, we had the prospector mask on, so he's going to start hitting things. Um, we could park the river otter in the middle, and that way we'll get rid of hopefully something. Um, there we go. Let's see, does he do all three of them? Okay, he does. It's alright. We can survive it. Is he about to send out a Malcolm? Yep. Um, I have enough tokens that I can put down the Cody next turn too, so that's awesome. And otherwise, I guess we'll get a squirrel. We need to wait for these to be destroyed. And the amalgam is going to be a problem. Um, I can do this, but the 
Sims is going to wreck on that away. So, a skip turn. What would that do? I'd let the Cody grow up. But I think he's still going to die when the mountain comes down. So, I might just cut that card. Um, yeah. I guess that's going to be it. Go ahead and drag over an old nugget or something. Oh no. Oh man. I did not think it was that that close. Shoot. I thought we had enough on the board to block. Ah. Man. What a tough fight. That was very fast. I didn't use a single uh item against them. I think I would have had to have skipped and cut cards to have had a chance. And I probably should put the coyote down just to get um some of the teeth on his scale. Well thank you for watching Wizard. That was a, another tough one and it was a good run. Thank you. Um hopefully I'm getting just enough of a strategy to be dangerous and we'll be able to get a win in here soon because this game keeps me coming back for more. <laughs> Okay, well, thanks for watching. It's been STR Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at STR Rank, and I'll have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good one.